Hello again, I am back this time with double axes. I'm gonna be doing a soul harvest run, which I haven't made a single video on soul harvest yet. Um, but the reason I'm doing these double axes here is because almost everybody starts with at least, I mean, they always start with one axe and then you can get double axes is one of the most viable starter loadouts to have. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you got on your back. If you got a bow or something that you prefer, you can do that. But for Soul Harvest, this is probably going to be your best bet. And I will kind of show you why as the video, as I get to that point. Um, but yeah, you can see these weapons. I've got explosion and critical with ice. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This is like late game what kind of stats that you're gonna have so it doesn't really matter what stats i've got here but i will just show them because why not then i've got that one the other this one's decent the other one is pretty freaking amazing and then i've got the shield that doesn't really do anything it's a shield um but yeah so i'm gonna get into it and here we go so soul harvest by the way this guy over here we're going to receive our soul harvest from that guy uh, or a reward at the end of the soul harvest so that's why he's there in case you had no clue why that guy exists um but yeah so i'm gonna do soul harvest is green so i might as well do vile halls because it's got a similar or a matching aesthetic and yeah here we go um basically you can see the map has one big big area in the middle and then there's three little rooms on the side kind of like a crystal hunt um, but you'll see it's a little bit different you don't even need to go to the side rooms um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and launch this mission with tier 6 difficulty and get right to it um, but yeah so the soul harvest is more of a horde mode than anything else uh, the crystal hunt that I showed in another video also had somewhat of a horde mode um but this one i would say is more uh more horde mode like but yeah so you've got this guy here the uh soul harvester i guess i actually don't know what his name is but yeah you click on a to continue he tells you a couple things which he, he speaks his own language i think use the soul harvest to harvest souls or soul staff to harvest souls well shall be their final resting place and then this thing drops and you got to pick it up and basically um you can have this i would recommend having it in your non-dominant hand so that would be my left hand and then you just shoot them and then attack and bam two hits basically it stuns them when you shoot them um which oh my gosh i just missed twice and then you get these these little orbs right after you kill them which you can take the orbs um here we go oh grab my axe um but yeah so you'll you'll have to collect the orbs if you wanted to do a speed run you wanted to just destroy everything super quickly then you could um collect the orbs as you go um however i'm going to show you the way to get extra orbs which is good if you're if you're trying to farm orbs um, okay okay this guy was already stunned and if you have teammates you could have one person using the staff wielding the staff while everybody else kills the enemies that are marked with the staff that guy's running away I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy first okay there we go okay got him stunned kill that guy perfect um, oh, I just accidentally collected an orb, but it doesn't matter if you collect uh, a couple orbs as long as you don't get to nine um, Then you can just unlimited unlimitedly I, That's that's weird. Uh, you can yeah, basically kill with no limits Until the time runs out and you can collect the most possible orbs that way and bam, Perfect. Oh, I just accidentally collected that orb and yeah these guys they're they're dying pretty easily it's not super difficult um round finished there even though i didn't collect all the orbs and it would have finished if i collected all the orbs but now i'm going to collect all of them which you can do after every round there we go and a couple more up here bam bam collect collect and then 
you return the staff to the middle and it will open a door. Mr. Soul Guy over here will ask you to continue. You can take a key, which you get from every round, and go into that gate over there just opened. You can see there are closed gates over here and over there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go into this gate. You could wait until the very end to explore, oh my gosh, to explore all of the gates, but, hey look, an orb up here, I forgot. But I'm gonna do it right now, why not? Here is, there's also always a key right here. Oh, if I can get it. There we go. Um, not sure where the enemies are. I thought usually they spawned enemies, but maybe after, um, maybe you only do get enemies in the horde and these are just little rooms afterwards. But let's see what weapon I got. I'll show it once. I'll, sh I'll show this chest for a weapon. Oh, okay. Didn't even, did I not get a weapon? That's crazy. Okay, whatever. And, uh, cool, next, next room, um, or I guess next stage. Oh, look, I forgot that orb too, and this one. But it's okay, you can forget orbs, they'll stay there for the next round. You just have to make sure to collect them all at the very end, and then you'll get the maximum amount of orbs. And I think that you get more orbs, uh, or more souls, the more people that you have. And obviously there's going to be more enemies. That's kind of with every mode in this game. By the way, where's the staff? It just randomly spawns. Um, I got to find the staff. Oh, wait, what? Where is it? Uh, I'm confused. Maybe it's... I'm just holding down my grip button, hoping that... Oh, whoa, it was right there. Okay, that... I think that just randomly appeared. Uh, tell me if I'm crazy, but... I don't think I am. Ooh. Ah! Oh yeah, I'm using my left hand now. I might, I might mess up a couple, a little bit more now. There's a lot of zombies in this one for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, okay. We've got this dude. I haven't even been throwing my weapon. I could totally be. But yeah, so I mean, I, I recommend do, using axes because you only need one hand to throw weapons. Um, and so you can stun them, throw a weapon, and then kill them. And if you happen to ice them, like I am with some of these these hits, uh, I could just go in and whack them with the staff. So the staff also does damage, by the way. I don't even know what perk that I have on. I might have the critical perk. That would be ideal. Um, Here, let's use two hands. Let's see if I can knock this guy out with the staff. This is, this is tougher than I expected. Okay. Here. Ugh. Especially on the uh, this skeleton guy. Yeah, you can see the staff doesn't really do anything. <laughs> so, well, because he's frozen there, I can I can kill him with that. But okay, so now we've got this guy. You can see the staff isn't stunning him or doing anything to him. So yeah, basically these octoculuses, you have to have a ranged weapon to kill them. So going double sword with a shield is not going to be not going to be ideal for those guys. But oh. I gotta grab my staff again, forgot about that. Forgot that it's not on my back. <laughs> Ugh. But yeah, you don't even really need to throw. Usually I throw before coming in at an enemy because it stuns them for a second. But, oh jeez. Because you're hitting them with this staff and that stuns them first, you don't need to throw your weapon uh, as much as if you didn't stun them but yeah fun stuff these are these are some of the coolest axe models too i wouldn't say they're one of the best because they're a little bulky and i don't know they they don't throw quite as as much as i would like or as well as i would like oh geez got poisoned but yeah that's it's a thing um ooh, there we go oh got him and as i said in that one axe video um, and let me collect these souls. I feel like the axes aren't um, as good as like hammers for throwing because they get stuck inside of your enemies. And yeah, hammers do not. Axes do get stuck. And that just adds a little bit of a problem that you wouldn't need. A little bit of extra issue but okay so i got another key that gate over there just opened so i'm gonna go in here 
and search for uh, anything. But this room is totally useless, so we're gonna we're gonna go right back. Um, not into a corner. We're gonna go to the guy. And yeah, I mean this. I I think so. So Mystic Marvel, the uh, Life on Eternity YouTuber, um, he and he's like the number one rank, and he's been number one for so long in Soul Harvest and a couple other, but. Um, Soul Harvest, I think, is is probably the most efficient way to gather gems. Uh, not gems. What am I talking about? Gather kills. Um, <laughs> gathering gems, or, or I guess crystals, would be the uh, crystal hunt mode. There we go. Uh, and going for the archer's bodies is ideal because they don't block um, as well down at their body. Okay, and th this guy also, he doesn't get hit by the the thing, so I'm going to throw my axes at him. Oh, and I've got another archer that's shooting at me. That's okay. Ooh, ooh. Don't let him get too close. Okay, well, he's dead. Cool. Let's stun this guy real quick and hit him. Kill him. And I got hit by him. <clears throat> nice. Nice, nice. And, yeah, so actually this... Ooh, jeez. Give me my weapon gets stuck in his forehead and it, while I said that's not super efficient it is very satisfying so that's that's a nice thing about axes and daggers getting those stuck inside of the enemy and then you gotta pull it out it feels like you actually have to do that Let's see if I can hit this guy nah that's gonna be so difficult I'm not I'm not gonna go through that pain I'm just gonna come up here and kill him Hiya! Nice. Alright, give me this. Okay, once again, I gotta throw my axes at this dude. And I'm gonna do side throws. I know there's an archer shooting at me, but whatever. Not a big threat. Oh, jeez. I gotta get my staff. Here it is. And kill this guy real quick. Kill this guy. And there he goes. Another one over here. Hit him in the legs. Nice. And this guy, oh man, sometimes <laughs> when you get so many um, soul orbs floating around, it's hard to um, <laughs> it's hard to hit the enemies and not the orbs. So sometimes you'll accidentally collect what you didn't want, but that's okay. Let's kill this guy. Oh, come on. Uh oh, I'm getting stuck. There we go. And kill this dude, kill this guy. Nice. Ooh. Good, good. I missed, I missed, I missed twice. Wow. Look at me, look at me go. I'm going crazy. And kill this. Yep, see, I missed missed the enemy hit the orb. It happens sometimes. Okay, so round finished. That's that's it. I just have to collect all the orbs. I think there might be another up there. Yep, another one. Um, here we go continue and so this is this part is kind of tedious um definitely my least favorite part just picking up all the orbs but i guess it is it is efficient <laughs> and if you want to grind the leaderboard you could do tons of soul harvest missions and just like listen to music or something as you grind and, and kill people or listen to i don't know something else <laughs> uh or just play with friends you know whatever and yeah now that opens the last gate I get another, no, I don't get another key. Interesting. I thought I did. I was wrong. And those are the teleport things that I'm going to use after. Oh, cool. Yeah, so this room does actually have a chest. And here we are. I got my gold. I got a key. Three keys and only two chests. But that's not bad. Two chests for a soul harvest. If you can get a soul harvest that has three chests in them, that's probably going to be ideal. But you can see I didn't get a weapon. I actually didn't know this for a long time and I guess I just kind of forgot but um you don't get weapons from soul harvest chests so it's still good to get the chest for gold and other random things but um you just you don't get weapons so if you're grinding for weapons don't do soul harvest missions you can see I got 71 souls it would be a lot lower if I had done um if I didn't wait until the end to pick up all of the souls and just picked them up as I went. Uh, and then it would be higher if I played with teammates and we did the same strategy. 
Uh, I think you can get like 130 with three teammates. But yeah, 74 kills, not too shabby. And then Mr. Soul Man over here comes and gives us some love. Uh, he'll give us a chest, which will appear right there. Beautiful. And a hold to collect the loot. And oh, great, an ice staff. Lovely stuff. But yeah, this is fun stuff. That's how you do the souls. Um, I might, just like I did with the, or mentioned with the crystal hunt, I might make a tutorial-like video on being a low level and doing it because it is much harder to do these multiple quest modes as a low level compared to me with all of this like stuff all the good weapons and potions that i've got um but yeah that was that again this is soul harvest that is crystal hunt these are dungeon raids three different types of quest modes and then there's four different realms which i just made a video on uh, and they don't change too much but the quest modes change a decent amount that is about it there's the leaderboards by the way uh mystic marvel up at the top in the oh wow he just got surpassed by m chilty i actually don't even know who this is but congrats to that guy he just he just outperformed mystic because mystic actually st stopped playing this game so now they're up there uh i'm top 200 not too great in the souls i don't do souls too much because i already have all the potions unlocked and that's that's actually what this dungeon is for for unlocking potions um you can see here fabricate potions you have uh it shows you how many souls you have because you unlock these potions once you get to a certain amount of souls i think this is about 200 souls that you get the invisibility but everything else is uh other amounts maybe like 100 for resurrect and a little bit less 50 or something for haste so that's the purpose of doing the soul harvest mode quest mode is to get uh, potions but potions as i've mentioned aren't super valuable and you can just find them throughout the dungeon anyway so it's not a huge priority to get potions but eventually you probably should get them when you're playing with low levels and you just want to be able to protect your teammates and revive them easy and all that stuff exo points over here again for crystal hunts and then uh basically all the stuff that you get in your loadouts is mostly from dungeon raids so yeah again that was it. Hope you enjoy the video and peace out.